Hi there. This is Dr. Samurai. I would like to discuss some of the hardest issues in the world with you. The difference of this channel than the others is I will always come up with a clear answer. And in that process, I would like to uh, you to uh, gain some energy so that uh, you could uh, live with the strength in this difficult age of time. Okay, today's topic is, uh, you know the uh, vaccine Moderna? M-O-D-E-R-N-A, Moderna. This is the other vaccine than uh, Pfizer's. And uh, like you know, I have many prison friends and uh, they helped me a lot to get some of the information that I cannot get about the United States. Two of my friends, one is uh, Kenneth Bianchi, the other is uh, Harvey Karinian. They both got uh, uh, this Moderna injection and uh, they kindly reported me knowing that I have this bad lung condition. So I really appreciate the advice and I'd like to share it with you. Okay. Ken told me like this. Uh, he got a Moderna injection three days ago and is planning to get another one in 20 day, 28 days. You know, they have to get the two of them to be really active. And uh, do you know this? This vaccine, either Pfizer or Moderna, they are vaccine with that, they get infected, but uh, they would not get uh, severe symptoms. So symptoms are kept lower, even though they get infected. That's the deal. Anyway, Ken told me that uh, uh, at the prison, they select people. I do not know what the criteria was, but it's got to be 65 years and older, you know, because uh, as some of you know, this is uh, authorized under emergency situation. Those who might get uh, serious, you know, effects by uh, coronavirus, they can get the vaccine at first. He said uh, nine people out of 100 inmates could get one. And he was declined first, he said. But later on, there was some kind of a re rearrangement and uh, he was chosen as one candidate to uh, receive that uh, Moderna injection. And listen to this. This is the very instructive part, informative part. At first, he felt very tired and loopy, you know, like when he was drunk and bit maize, you know. But uh, by the next morning, he felt good. Although he had some... Uh, you know, pain and tenderness at the, at the point that he got a shot. He goes, any reaction seems to happen only within the first seven days. You know, it has 94% effectiveness, efficacy, compared with 95 of Pfizer's. And great point is this Moderna can be kept at a standard temperature, like 36 Celsius, which is like 
46 Fahrenheit. The Pfizer's must be kept at the minus 94 Fahrenheit. So Moderna is much easier to uh, keep and maintain. But uh, it is still authorized emergency use only, not to everybody at this. And uh, very, uh, you know, uh, appreciative information he provided me was, uh, I have this COPD, right? And knowing that, he told me that a guy very close, living very close to uh, his cell has COPD too. And he got this Moderna shot and he's doing very fine, you know? So all in all, he goes, side effects and reactions only last very short time, sometimes just overnight. And uh, pretty much no side effects even with uh, people uh, uh, over 65 years old. And I mentioned another prison friend of mine, right? Although I'm, I'm saying this, I'm not forgetting about uh, uh, the victims, okay? Seriously. But uh, I am, you know, uh, communicating with them as a friend because I would like to understand a society from down under okay because I I'd like to see the truth of what is really going on you know from the top level like politicians no I would like to see from where nobody can see the society okay Mr. Harvey Kalian you know, sometimes called like a Hav the Hammer. He's at, at the time 94 years old, you know. And the uh, interesting thing is he got a shot and he didn't feel anything for the first two weeks. But two weeks after, he suddenly got very, very sick out of the blue that's the phrase he used and uh, he put it like a dog eating poisoned food so it must have been very difficult and let me tell you mr harvey uh he you know uh, uh was kind of very weak before, to be honest with you, because of his age. So he keeps forgetting things and repeat things in his letters and stuff. But he is a, he is a very nice person to me, okay? And uh, after he got this shot, and now he's fine. Like, two weeks after, he got a very sick, like he ate a poisoned food, right? But once he is out of it, I could tell out of the, the way he writes his messages, this energy level upped at least by three times, I can tell. You know, although he is like 94 years old, he, his, uh, you know, letter makes me uh, feel like he's like uh, 65 years old or something. So originally he was a big guy and, uh, you know, a boxer, you know, in the prison. So it must be like his, uh, you know, uh, Hulk the Hive now, you know. So, uh, and he goes like this. I am quite certain my inner radiator will not freeze because of this shot I received. 
although I'm still avoiding uh, uh, contacting, uh, you know, uh, virus. So based upon, you know, these two uh, precious friends, Moderna seems to work, although they had some short period of side effect. But after that, I can tell their energy level is clearly up twice, three times, four times, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I was kind of wondering, uh, in Japan, we haven't still gotten any uh, vaccine shot, Pfizer, Pfizer or Moderna. But uh, Moderna seems to be easier to be carried to, uh, you know, outside the United States, you know, and uh, seeing what they reported to me kindly, it uh, works after, I mean, uh, after you uh, uh, endure those uh, short time period of uh, side effect. So now I am thinking, you know, since I have this uh, chronic disease including this uh, COPD, even if I have a chance, I was kind of thinking I would avoid, skip getting a vaccine. But uh, uh, Mr. Bianchi's advice that uh, his neighbor with COPD now feels very, you know, uh, fine, at least is making me think I might as well get one too, you know, so that... Uh, by accident I get uh, infected, I could uh, survive. So uh, today's lesson was about Moderna, but I like to say, you know, uh, I think they were chosen ones, you know, not everybody in the prison can get uh, shot and very limited number because of their ages and their physical weakness, I think they were placed, you know, in that uh, group who can get a shot. But uh, again, it seems to work. This information I wanted to give you. And uh, uh, I know by reading and uh, news on TV and stuff. And also, I can listen to uh, uh, radio information from AFL. And uh, I know many people are dying. And seeing that, getting the, either one of these shots could be one option. While I still am asking why their avian is not approved in Japan. But uh, anyway, I told you, people are losing their precious loved ones. And I don't want it to happen to you, any of my friends all over the world. So uh, if you have the chance to get that uh, vaccine, maybe you should go for it based upon these uh, friends' information. And also, uh, uh, if you couldn't get one, like, I haven't won either, right? Uh, be careful not to touch your face before you wash your hands. And double up your paper mask when you go out you know, a mixture of many people. Uh, this is only a one life. So uh, let's survive this one together, okay? To change the world together toward a better direction as one, okay? I'll talk to you next time.
Have a wonderful time. All right.